What's up guys? Today we're gonna be replacing our brake fluids with uh, just stock three again, but this time I'm gonna do some Presto Max. Hopefully this will do a little bit of better work stopping my car during mountain runs and a little bit of track days. What we're gonna be needing is Core dot three, or you can do dot four if you want to upgrade. You just have to flush everything out. This little catch can from Motive. You can make your own, like a Gatorade bottle. This is only like ten bucks or so, so I just grabbed it. A little turkey baster, a millimeter and a ten millimeter wrench. You don't really need this. I'm just checking my brakes because of the mountain runs, and that's about it. Let's go ahead and jack up. The fronts. Here's our brake master cylinder reservoir. As you can see, it is quite dirty. It's green, black, and yucky. Grab some paper towels and put this somewhere uh, safe. Probably put it up here because I don't want I don't want no brake fluid to be touching any paint because it is a paint remover. But anyways remove this guy here there we go here's the fluid all yucky and brown we're going to be changing that use your turkey baster and fill up the bleeder but make sure when you're doing this process you don't drain all of the brake fluid because you don't want any air bubbles now be extra careful you don't drip any of these fluids anywhere got this much out so far where no air bubbles can come out, as you can see. It's still some in there. What you're gonna do is fill it up to the max, or to the brim, I should say. My mini makeshift funnel from a water bottle. There we go, fill it up to the brim. Now just go ahead and close the lid and start pumping the brake fluid. Now, I forgot to mention that when you're doing these brakes, especially for a Honda Civic 10th gen, the order to bleed the brakes are driver side, passenger side front, and then you move on to the back of the passenger rear. Make sure your e-brake is off, and then rear driver side. And then when you've bled both of all of that, now hop into the car, turn it on, and you're gonna turn on the e-brake five times. That means turning it off, turning it off, that's one. And then when you've done that, bleed the two uh, rears again, and then you'll be all set. And here, where the brake caliper is, there's a little cap here. Take off the cap. Get your little catch can. Put this tube on the little nozzle here. As we want the tube to be like this. So if there's air bubbles, the air bubbles will be trapped up here at the uh, top. And it'll come back down into this little drain. Now let's go ahead and loosen the bolt. There we go, and loosen it ever so slightly so that the fluid will come out, but not the air. And as you can see, the fluid is already dripping out. And pump the brakes five times. All right, pump the brakes five times. It is still a bit dirty, so I'm gonna do it a couple more times. Let's go ahead and check the reservoir. As you can see, the fluids went down a little bit. I think that's fine enough to do another run. I'm gonna do one more run because I don't know how clear it should look. Let's open the reservoir again. As you can see, drained a couple. So let's go ahead and refill that. Oh yeah, I can definitely see it being clear now. The lines are a bit clear. Let's go ahead and close the valve. Righty tighty. Let's move on to the next side. Let me just dump all of this. It will be the same process of the other side as well. One more step. Don't forget to put the cover back on. There we go. Now I'm doing the other side as well. So we can just do an inside cabin break pressing tutorial i'm just kidding here we are press the brakes six times so one two 
three, four, five, six. Then the brake lines, let me see, they're clear. And then we can lower the car, probably jack up the rears and do the same thing. Now it's the passenger rear, same concept. Here's the uh, brake fluid cap, just tip that off. And then get your bleeder and put it on here. Nice snug and fit. And that's some, that should be enough. Yep, see the fluid there is coming out. Let's go ahead and bleed these brakes as well. All right, when we're done uh, bleeding the brakes, let's go ahead, hop into the car. In the car. There we go. We're gonna be engaging the parking parking brake five times. So this is one. That's one. This is two. Okay, now the last step is to fill up the reservoir to the max. Now from there, you can just put on put on the cap. Now let's go for a test. Let's drive. Air bubbles. Yeah, there's definitely no air bubbles in here. All right, cool.